All right, hello and welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mahmoud Shihata, and this is the channel where we talk about everything about web dev. So this video is going to be a follow-up video to this playlist, which is Learn React in 2020. And I want to make this video to answer so many questions that I've got in the comments and I also want to explain why I haven't posted for so long. So most of you guys don't know this, but I'm actually a mechanical engineer. And uh, a year ago, last year in October, I decided to become a web developer and make a whole career shift, which was followed by five months of me being at home just studying on my own. The reason why I started this YouTube channel was to uh, learn by teaching and also to give back to the community that has helped me find a job basically with free resources in a totally different career that I have not studied professionally. And that's why I started this playlist. So this playlist was me documenting how I learned React through the main and the first project that I have coded as I learned React. And also to explain to other people how, can they, how they can pick up the same skills that I have picked up. And it's been great. I absolutely, absolutely appreciate the feedback. Everybody loves the video and many are many people are actually subscribing and I'm, I'm, I'm really blown away by all the support and all the love, but there is a problem. The problem is I got a full-time job and with my full-time job, it's becoming extremely difficult to actually make videos consistently. So when I was home, and learning and coding, I would like learn something in these couple of days and then I will teach it, learn it, and teach it, learn it, and teach it. And it was really beautiful. But nowadays it's very difficult when you have a full-time job to consistently put out videos. The second thing is working professionally in web development is quite a different experience from just learning something and just being on your own at home and coming up with your own mini project. That means that I have learned how to do far more things and I'm really, really keen to teach all these things to so that you guys can also pick up those skills like advanced React patterns, writing uh, React in TypeScript, basically TypeScript itself. And every time I look at the code that I teach in this series, I feel a little bit ashamed that the code is written this way and I think it could have been written far, far, far better in ways that I know how to do now that I did not know when I started this series. So I made this video to ask you, what do you want me to do next? And basically my point here is I can go back and rewrite that project in the way that I know how to write React code now, which is gonna be like advanced React patterns which with, with much more cleaner code and also to uh, use it with TypeScript. I think that would be really good value for everybody else who's watching these videos. So that's the first option. And the second option I would like to ask is I would like to end this series. And I would like to tag this series as only beginners. And I would like to start a new series where I will be teaching intermediate, uh, let's call it intermediate React uh, skills with a new project that will be a little bit more complicated. So you can see how using TypeScript and how using advanced React patterns actually comes together to do something a little bit more complex. From my perspective, I think with the last video, we have finished doing the weather card and by that point, if you've been following the whole series, you can do so many things. You can, you know what APIs are, you know how to load data and fetch data from a diff, like a, a remote API, store it in state, render it, you know how to trigger re-renders, how to take input, how to validate the input. So in a way, this is a good set of skills for a beginner React developer. So yeah, let me know in the comments below whether you want me to rewrite this project in what I would say, the, the more advanced way of writing React code, or would you like me to start a totally new project, which in my opinion would be much better to show you guys how you would set up the whole project from the start and so on. Now, I'd like to dedicate this second part of the video to actually answering your questions. So many people have been asking, uh, why is um, the link to the final project not working? So if you open the link in the video description in Firefox, it will work. The issue is the API that I used to get the news content from has disabled access to dev API keys except in localhost. So it works beautifully with me on local. 
it does not work on the internet. It basically crashes on Chrome and doesn't render anything. Uh, so if you go to Firefox, it works. Uh, if you just wanna download the repo and run it locally, you can do that too. Second question is, where is the repo? How can I get it? So if you go to the website that I always leave in all of um, the videos in the description, which is basically react-2020.thinkific.com, if you go there, you can just sign up and get access to the Git uh, repo. And the reason why I ask you to do this is just because I wanna make sure that I keep track of the people who are learning from me so I can uh, reach out to you delivering more free content to you and that's it nothing else i'm just trying to build a community here and hopefully i can give back to you guys and we can all learn and grow together that's it i have nothing else to say and thank you guys again for all the support and let me know what you want me to do from this point onwards ciao